Imagine, it's minus 22 degrees in Canada, a beautiful summer day. We go up to construction workers, they're on top of houses, and we yell to them, if you fall, what happens to your children? Who pays for your bills? This is what we did as insurance salespeople. The worst job possible, especially in Canada. And the only reason I decided to do this job was because I was in love with Mike. Now Mike was like this tall, had like flowy blonde hair, blue eyes, and was very charming. And he made me feel like the most important girl in the world. And so I thought, I'll leave the job that I love. I'll leave the house that I like living in. I'll move to a different city for Mike and for what Mike offered me. Mike offered something that insurance people make. What is that? Lies. <laughs> lies. And often lies lead to <laughs> money. Money. Yeah? So I decided to sell my soul to this man who got married like three months later. Anyway, I knew that. But, and for money. And it was like the worst time of my life. I ended up living in a house with three alcoholics. Um, two were ex-Harley Davidson's like murderers. <laughs> they were out of the gang now. And I was dating a man who smoked drugs every day when I hate drugs. And I would just hang around the pool every day eating donuts and I just wouldn't go to work. And this was like the worst decision of my life. And it was based on essentially money. I needed more money. To live in Canada, I need money. Right? I want to go to Thai restaurants. I want to live this life. I want to have nice shoes. I want money. Money will make me happy. And it actually took me to like the worst place I've ever been in my whole life. And I failed. I made like two sales in six months. My man got married. And I ended up living in a house with alcoholics and I didn't become an alcoholic. So I can look to this past place six years ago and say, wow, that was shit because I made the wrong decisions. And from that point there, I moved to Cambodia and India for seven, eight months, and I changed my life around. And I came back to Europe, not living for money, because now I live in Spain and make no money. So I've learned a big lesson about life. <laughs>